What's up everybody? Today I've got three magic tricks for you that you're gonna be able to perform and show your friends using ordinary objects like a water bottle. Now if you don't have friends, this will also help you get friends like me. Anyways, keep your eye on the bottle and keep your eye on this pen. Three, two, boom. And if you think this is some weird wizardry, I'm gonna show you how to do Let's go to the park, I'll show you two more tricks. Cue the drone shots. All right, let's find a bench, do some magic. This next trick shows the power of water and air and how they can work together to create a really fun and simple illusion. So what you're gonna do is take a glass, pull out a bicycle card or any kind of playing card, and turn it over and you'll see the air is actually creating a vacuum with the water and the card. Now I show you this because if you actually grab a water bottle, you take the top and you seal it with your hands, that's creating the seal for itself and you let go and ta-da. I really think recycling is important and I need to tell you guys about something that you're probably missing out on. It's that sodas have two drinks in them. So what you wanna do is place your thumb over the front of the drink and actually just believe hard enough that you can get a soda back to normal and that's the first step. The second is doing a little shake with the can and notice how it grows back to normal right there in front of your eyes. So, cheers. We're gonna head back to my place and I'm gonna explain all of these tricks to you. You can do this trick with any carbonated soda or drink, but you gotta make sure it has a can so you can puncture through the aluminum. So what you're gonna do is take a bobby pin here, pull out the little needle. You could use a needle, but this is the best so you don't kill your finger. And before you do this, you might wanna have a little protection because this is gonna shoot out everywhere. So I actually, Usually do this in a sink, but to show you guys, I found this little thing in my garage and I'm gonna pull it. Yep, and what you can do is continue to shake it. I like to get the cans about halfway empty for this trick to work. And once you pull it up like that, it'll stop. So there it is, you'll dry that off. I like to usually put the hole in words on the back side here, but it really depends on the orientation of this. It's awkward if you have the hole here because then you're kind of covering most of the trick, which isn't fun because you can show this trick off like just like this, so be here. The second step of this trick is gonna be making this look like it's an empty can. This is a really cool illusion to me because it's just, it's a real life illusion. People aren't paying attention to this black piece of paper that you can cut out in the same shape, slide it under the top there, and in good lighting, so you gotta be careful where you do this trick, it'll look like that is an empty can, which is just awesome. Now you can just squeeze it. If it's doing this during the trick, you're gonna wanna empty that a little. Oh, darn it, I forgot that was in there. I just peed my pants. So you're gonna palm the top like that. That part's pretty easy. And then sometimes I'll crinkle it in my hand while they're not looking, let my hand naturally swing down and put it in my pocket or crumple it up and kind of drop it and actually while you're showing them this part, that's falling to the floor and you're gonna step on that paper. The next part is gonna be shaking this can and this is the cool part of the trick. It just, it works because of physics with the carbonation. So you've got it bent here. So you're gonna shake this part of the trick and I like to rotate it like this so it's not making sound with the soda inside and you're gonna see it, that's now inflated, you get the idea. <laughs> And if you were to let go of that hole, so you wanna quickly open this up and part of the trick is quickly pouring it too. So they can taste it, they can see liquid coming out and that really sells that, what the heck, there was soda in there the whole time. I love this trick because it's fun, it's physics, it's real, there's a lot of practice that's involved. I'm gonna explain the concept of what can happen. So you have a card and you can use this in your performance too to show your friends, but you show surface area tension. I don't know what the physical term for this is called, but the pressure of the air is holding the card up. And if I took the card away there, it's gonna fail. All the water's obviously gonna fall out. To perform this trick, you're gonna wanna grab a bottle of water. And what I'd first do is take a swig. And I'm proving that it's a real water bottle, but I'm also showing this air pocket here, which is gonna help for this next part of the trick, because I'm gonna put a card 
You can do it with your hand too if you get a lot better. If you pull it away just right, you're gonna have the effect. Nice. You can also do that again with your palm and I'll show you that in a second. But what you're also gonna be able to do here, this is the part that takes a lot of practice. And you get the straw in there. And what you can do is, if you can quickly turn it over, I can't, it usually messes up, so I kind of pop it over and then you can drink out of it again. You can take the straw out. You can do whatever you want. So what you're gonna do, if you wanna do it with your hand, a lot of people like to put their hand top in the beginning and turn it over. And this is the part that's hard. You gotta be really stretched out and then you're gonna slide it off like that. And when you get it, if you squeeze this water bottle at all, all of this is coming down. So you gotta be really still with it and then you just pop that up like that. Now my desk is sticky and wet. I love this pen trick because what's going on is the pen is in there the entire time. So you're gonna need a duplicate pen. Go ahead and grab this here. And it's, it's simple light refraction, guys. This is how it disappears. You can't see it. Um, so you gotta make sure you're performing this at the right angle to your friends. Too low, they might be able to see the pen maybe. Um, sideways, they can definitely see it. But right here is a sweet spot. I kinda point it towards camera a little bit or you can go straight on. You can move it to prove, hey, there's no pen here if you do a slow one. But what you're gonna do is open up a pen and you're gonna fill the inside of the pen if you pop it off, however these pens break open. Fill it with tiny nails or weights. Some people do little ball bearings. You just gotta weight it down so when you put the pen in here, it's gonna sink. Otherwise, a regular pen, this one's gonna float like that. So get it weighted down, do the trick like this. The back of your hand, you're just going like this for the performance. You're saying boom and boom, and this is, is just coming in here like and hiding, you're palming the pen. They're not paying attention to it because they're looking here and you're kind of hiding it, angling it behind here for a second. Then let your hand fall down, drop the pen in a pocket or give it to a buddy that's in on the trick. There's all kinds of ways that you can get rid of the pen but I'm just gonna do this and like that. And you show this pen and I, I can also show my sleeves or my arms, no pen. What I've really done is been able to hide the pen back here this whole time. So a lot of different ways that you can get the pen from hand to hand. If you guys do any of these tricks to fool your friends, be sure to film it and send it to me. Here's the email right here. Submit it and we might show it in a future YouTube video. If you wanna see some other fun stuff, that's cool and that's cool. And again, this is also cool. It's just, all, I'm always amazed how it does that. It's just, you can turn it sideways. It's just amazing, and if you turn it just right. No. Yeah. 